Hello fellow modelers and sci-fi fans, this time it's going to be different. No plastic and no airplanes. Behold, the mighty Normandy SR2 from Mass Effect game series. The tricky part is definitely preparing the parts for printing and setting all the necessary supports. Personally, I prefer to do this manually, because I can preserve the final details of the design. I own Prusa SL1 resin printer, which can print in 25 microns layer resolution. But as you can see, I had a problem with the 3D model quality, because the prints has weird line layers. Maybe it is my fault with the printer calibration. Maybe if you have a better experience, I would like to hear your thoughts on what might be causing this issue. In any case, I can smooth the imperfections with a smooth sandpaper relatively easily. It is a simple process that can make a big difference in the final outcome. Just to be sure to use the right grid of the sandpaper and take your time to ensure a smooth finish. With a little practice you will be able to sand like a pro. Printing is great, but usually spend a lot of time cleaning excess resin supports. I am forced to remove more resin due to the imperfect fitting. A handy tool for this work is microelectric grinder. I am working on the project where I need to glue some resin together and I found that super glue works really well. I am using both regular super glue and flexible super glue to fill seam lines or gaps. I found that the black super glue is especially helpful because it is easier to see where I have already applied. I printed the hull from clear resin because I wanted to add LEDs to the interior. But unfortunately the resin wasn't very clear after curing. It was quite disappointing, so I decided to abandon the idea of editing LEDs. I'm going to play more with a paint, at least. I use grey primer in the spray can. I need more thick layer for smoothing printing layers. The grey primer nicely revealed ugly imperfections. I like filling small gaps with a Tamiya Pati because it is nicely soft. Some panel lines and details are missing or are inconsistent after filling. The best tool for restoring panel lines is ordinary cheap razor saw. You can easily make a deep and straight lines. I don't recommend scribing tools for resin models, because resin is relatively fragile and details could crack easily. I found more excess resin supports, which I forgot to clean properly. I like electric engraver for this purpose.
The last step before painting is to unify the model with one solid primer layer. Ok, it was a messy work to clean the most of the imperfections, but it was a necessity. I am spraying the whole model with a white paint. I decided to mix in few drops of a beige shade, to give it less dull appearance. I purchased a 3D model from Gamebody, because it has a lovely details like engraved pan lines, ship name or code name. Otherwise you need decals or spraying masks. For this model you need only a paintbrush and steady hand. I decided on color marking from Must Effect 2, where the Normandy has a lovely white black marking with yellow details. The tricky part was masking, therefore I rescaled blueprints to model size and print them. I use yellow paper masking tape, very good quality is Tamiya one. I am painting the second layer black. Ok, it is not exactly pure black, it is more of dark grey with a hint of a blue mixed in. I have found that it is best to apply the paint in very gentle light layers. If you try to apply too much at once, the paint can easily seep underneath the mask and ruin your work. So take your time and be patient, applying each layer with a care to get the best results. I am painting the small details with a paintbrush, it is much easier than masking. And more black strips, you do not need to make it all at once. Also the correction is easier if you have some basic shapes already painted. I have been trying to paint some small Normandy letters, but my hand isn't perfectly steady, so it's been a bit of struggle. I think I might need to take a break from climbing lessons and focus on improving my painting skills. I discovered the model is missing small R2 codename on the hull. It is small detail but it bothers me nonetheless. To fix this I had to create a spraying mask. I didn't even bother to paint it freehand, since it's even smaller than the Normandy text. I am painting highlights with a grey acrylic paint. It will make the details more pronounced and give the surface optically more depth. It looks so cool. I am fixing the paint job with a soft layer of a clear lacquer varnish. It is good base for washes, but primarily makes the paint job more resilient. The details on the white paint are almost invisible, so the dark wash helps a lot. This one is enamel based and you can use it directly from the bottle. However, you must use enamel thinner to wipe out excess paint from the surface. And we are almost done. I mean almost because there is a lot of work with a paintbrush. I am painting some panels with different shades. 
This will make the surface optically less uniform and also brings more details. I didn't use LEDs, so I'm imitating lights and windows with a paint. You can use different shades of red, orange and yellow. The result is better than I expected, just for comparison the side with the windows and without. The last but not least is more shading around the engines. I am painting exhaust with a dark brown and shading with a light blue grey. When the work is done, unify the surface with a layer of a clear or matte varnish. It depends on what you prefer. The 3D model includes a cool dog stand. I like it because the Normandy model looks very fragile otherwise. I also purchased the plastic box cover for car models, which fits perfectly. The final touch is simple nameplate that I created in Blender. If you are interested, you can find the nameplate on my Patreon page or Cult 3 d for free. Ok, the Normandy model is done, and it was definitely worth the effort. The process was a bit time consuming, as I had to clean up some imperfections and do some masking work. But seeing the final result was truly satisfying. The model is now part of my collection and I couldn't be happier. I already purchased other incredible 3D models, so we can expect more sci-fi soon. With this bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you for watching and see you next time.